Hello everyone, my name is Barbara. Today I'm looking at the number of seconds in a column, which I have 165 for this example, and this is how long my staff have been on site for each day. So on the second of the second, they arrived at 725 and they were there for 165 seconds. And what I want to know is, so I don't have to manually do it all the time, how many minutes and seconds were they on site? So let's look at how to do that. Okay, so let's do 20 seconds on how Excel stores time. So one day, is stored as one. One hour of a day is stored as one divided by 24, which is this decimal. If we then move on to how many minutes in a day, let's look at um, one divided by 60 by 24. And then if we look at seconds in a day, one divided by 60 by 60 by 24. So we have a lot of decimal numbers there, but we don't have to use the decimal numbers because what we can do is we can easily just convert that to time by selecting time. And we can see that that's one minute, that's one, that's one second, that's one minute, that's one hour, and that is a day. So let's just test it, shall we? Let's look at um, 120 seconds and let's calculate how many minutes. So that would be 60 times 60 times 24. And of course that should be two minutes. And let's just select that down and 165 is 2 minutes 45 seconds. Okay, let's get back to the normal programming. Okay, so we're back and we know how Excel handles time and it's in a decimal format. So we can go straight ahead and just go, okay, that's 165 and we wanna divide that by 60 by 60 by 24, close the brackets and that gives us another decimal as we expected. Let's just double click and fill that in. We don't wanna deal with the decimal, let's just go ahead and format that as time. So I know that EU1199 was on site for one minute and 50 seconds, the next day slightly longer, and so on and so forth. And that is how you calculate minutes and seconds from seconds, if that's how you get your system data.